Uh, according to the National Institutes of Health, at least half a million people in the U.S. have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. But that number is likely higher as many people go undiagnosed or perhaps are misdiagnosed. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with a special test that in a new study has shown that it can really have some effective results in terms of figuring out if, you're, if you do have Parkinson's. Absolutely, Karen and Devin. So the test, which is done on a spinal fluid sample, is called SYNTAP. And its value is not only in the identification of Parkinson's, but more specifically, the early identification, which can be critical, since many therapies work best when they're given at the first sign of symptoms, such as a loss of the ability to smell or a specific sleep disorder or in people with certain genetic markers. The signs can be subtle at first. Parkinson's disease is a progressive condition that typically isn't diagnosed until physical symptoms appear, like tremors and trouble balancing. But new lab tests may be changing that. He is a game changer in Parkinson's disease, no question. In Parkinson's, a protein called alpha-synuclein abnormally clumps in the brain of a person with Parkinson's disease. The test, known as SYNTAP, looks for seeds of the protein in spinal fluid. A large newly published study funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation and others found, overall, the test correctly identified people with Parkinson's disease 88% of the time and correctly ruled it out 96% of the time. Now, for the first time, uh, we can measure this in life uh, in people with Parkinson's disease and also perhaps even more importantly, uh, people who uh, may be at risk for Parkinson's disease uh, but don't yet have the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Dr. Ken Merrick says Parkinson's disease begins in the brain many years before symptoms start. The, the real key here is that it offers the opportunity to develop treatments prior to the onset of symptoms so that we might ultimately be able to prevent the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Now, in addition to the SYNTAP, which requires a spinal fluid specimen, another test called SYN1 actually detects traces of the protein in skin. Now, currently, though, the most promising results have only been shown in the test that uses spinal fluid. There is actually also ongoing research to develop detection tests using blood and nasal swab samples. So is it hard to get this test? Is it available? And is, it, is the test itself a hard one to take? Well, so the test itself actually requires a spinal fluid sample, which basically means you need to get a spinal tap. Now, now, getting that is sample is actually really pretty common and simple procedure. The test, though, is highly specialized, and the specimen does, in fact, need to be sent to a specific lab in San Diego to be processed. Also, it's not routinely covered by insurance. So really what I'm getting at here is this isn't a broad screening test at this point. It would actually be part of either a specific evaluation for Parkinson's or to really firm up the diagnosis if there is any question. Yeah, because, it, it, yes, it would help to determine that it is Parkinson's, but just as importantly, to tell you it's it's not. Right. Right? That's exactly right. Some yeah. people may be misdiagnosed as Parkinson's when in fact they don't have it. Yeah, really interesting. interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Doc.